More and more, everywhere we go, we hear that leaders are asking their teams, their employees, to take more risk, step up, speak up, act. We can't afford, we don't have the resources for me to do everything. I need you to move and think on your own. So, it begs the question as leaders, how do we make it safe and safer for those around us to take those risks? These are three things we've seen top leaders in every industry do that, that enable their teams to do just that. Number one is establish and get aligned on what the vision is for a particular person's role in the organization. What's your vision for your function? Let's get aligned on, on the objectives for your function. What does success look like? That sounds like common sense. It's shocking to us how few leaders are taking the time to have that critical conversation. Number two, this one's a big one. It's those day-to-day -day interactions. It's the magic moments, if you will, of how we respond as leaders to the ideas and actions of others. If any of my teammates and colleagues feel that I am judgmental, that I am just critical of, of the simplest ideas, thoughts, and expressions, I can guarantee that I'll get less of that moving forward, let alone when it comes time to make a big decision or to step up and act when I'm not in the office, I can guarantee that I've shut down the risk taking. Step number two, take advantage of everyday interactions by using magic moments to foster the greatest expression of who they are. Number three, define with your colleague or your employee what is safe and what is unsafe risk taking. Now that sounds logical, doesn't it? But again, it's shocking for us to discover how few leaders actually take the time to have that important conversation. Establishing the criteria with a teammate in terms of what does it mean to, to take a risk that will serve our purposes moving forward, that'll drive the success and performance we need. And what is a risk that would be unacceptable? How do I define that? How do you define that? Let's have that conversation. What will you do today in those everyday interactions to, to make it safe for your team and your colleagues around you to take more risks? Look forward to hearing your feedback and your successes.